Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukutaya here at sunny Honolulu, PTC 2018, with my good friend, Mr. Samer Bichet, the CEO of Aristel. Samer, how are you doing today? Welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for, uh, good to see you again, Jamie. Uh, it's another year that went by so quick, but it's great to see you, looking great. Thank you, it's great to have you back here on JSA TV. I know the internet of things, something you guys are, uh, working through at Aristel, it's transforming our industry for sure. Now, how is Aristel responding? Tell us more about your IoT platform. Yeah, so uh, the IoT or the you know machine to machine communications is many things to you know depending who you talk to, and uh, we're uh, very excited because 2018 brings a whole uh, bunch of new products in our portfolio. Uh, we're starting with a launch of our uh, Sendio uh, platform, which basically means uh, connect in Greek, mm -hmm. and uh, that's basically going to uh, you know track all our assets that we're going to be launching. Uh, and something very exciting that was going to tie into the whole uh, portfolio is our uh, sister company, Kepler Communications, which is basically a nano satellite that I had mentioned last year, and it actually finally went up to space three days ago, successfully deployed. Uh, so that's actually going to uh, bring a whole bunch of new uh, era of communications to not just the Canadian market, but globally. Congratulations, exciting news. I can't wait to see what you do with all that new data and connectivity. Another trend, of course, that, that workplace, the workforce, we're evolving, spreading out and diversifying. This has shifted Aristel's new strategy in the enterprise offering, of course. Can you tell us more here? Yeah, on the enterprise side, uh, it, it's no longer uh, workers tied to a, an office, for example, and, and that's where we, we see a big shift. Uh, everybody's gonna be mobile. You know, the industry's been talking about it for a while, but without a simplification to, to ensure the process or the onboarding is, uh, is done in a, you know, in a smooth manner, uh, it's very hard for somebody to be able to load an application on a phone that makes it do, you know, a complete mobility slash uh, office connectivity without having to like fiddle around with a million things and downloading software. So we're really uh, taking a close look at that uh, in terms of simplifying the whole process and just automating it. And then uh, switching gears here, what does an ideal partner look like for Aristel? An ideal partner is obviously somebody we can trust and rely on, but that usually uh, results in two things. Either we make money with them or we save money with them. And uh, either way, it, uh, you know, it, it results in a great true partnership where uh, both, both sides have something to win and something to lose if, if they don't perform. Um, so that's always what we're looking for in a, in a, in a partner. And, uh, and thank God, you know, it's been, it's been a great 19 years that I've now started this company. And uh, I think we've been blessed by a lot of great partners around us. And I'll tell you, growth seems to be the underlying uh, word to describe Aristel. Uh, growth into space, <laughs> growth, uh, growth in the retail market now, also growth in the wholesale sector. Can you tell us more there? Yeah, on the wholesale side, uh, you know, one, people have, have kind of said, okay, wholesale is gonna die, especially voice, right? It's been the same theme for, I would say, probably 15 years out of the 19 years that I've been doing this. Uh, and it actually continues to grow. Um, I think part of the, the new strategy that we're going to be looking at is how do, we, uh, how do we monetize or how do we make it interchangeable with, you know, for example, if you're buying a data plan on our, on our mobility platform, how can we allow you to monetize on that so that you're dealing with data as a currency and not just as a bucket that if you don't use it, you lose it sort of thing. And you know this has been uh, something that is not hasn't been available on the retail side. Uh, maybe it's a new concept on the wholesale, but we kind of want to standardize the platform and allow our partners, whether it's wholesale, retail offerings, to be able to uh, have wholesale as a currency, if that makes sense. You know, like data, voice, whatever it is, it's a currency that you can use it when you need it. If you don't use it, it comes back to a bucket somehow. And that's kind of like the whole push of, of what where we see the whole industry is going and, and gain more trust with partners. Well, and uh, that leads me to my next question. And you know, you know me well, when I have my CEOs in the hot seat, I like to end with this. Looking into your, your crystal ball, what do you see coming up for Aristel in 2018? Well, just the uh, satellite alone, I believe, is going to be exciting. Uh, 
you know, uh, era for us because uh, it's not just going to change how uh, communications are being done today, but it's actually going to shape how we think about future communications and small CubeSats that are basically flying in space and, uh, you know, making sure that we're delivering high bandwidth through 5G. You know, everybody's been bragging about this 5G thing. All, all it takes is a couple of these satellites up in space and we're going to have true 5G global connectivity with gigabits of throughput uh, to, to pass through. So we're really excited. Well, we're excited to hear and learn more. Keep us posted as you continue to uh, evolve your success story at Aristel. We're always uh, really excited to hear news from you. And thank you oh, for our clients who uh, and viewers who want to know more. Where can they go? Uh, Aristel.com. Aristel.com. Thanks again, Samir, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.